Before this upload begins, don't forget guys, only three days left to win my High Country Duramax. Only three days left and I know a lot of you are like me and you wait until the absolute last possible minute to do anything like pay taxes. So if you're waiting for the last minute, don't wait, get entered now, get some entries to win this epic truck. All you have to do is go to InShaneDesigns.com where every five bucks you spend is an automatic entry to win. So if you get a t-shirt for 25 bucks, that's five entries and so on and so forth. Again, three days left to win that truck. It's freaking awesome. Don't miss your chance. It could be your next daily driver. Oh boy, it has been a long time since we grabbed these keys. Holy crap, I can't, I can't believe it's real myself. <gasps> there it is. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day as always. Oh my God, I really like, this is kind of a shock right now because it's been about two and a half months and the twin turbo C8 Corvette is finally back. Got the keys here. The other keys should be inside somewhere and holy crap, I can't believe it's real. I can't, but first of all, I can't believe this is my car and I can't believe it's back. Look at the turbos. <gasps> oh my God. Um, this is a big, this is a big moment, really big moment in the making here for again, almost three months. And not only did I miss the car because I wanted to see the twin turbos, but I just missed the car. You know, I missed having a C8, especially now that there more are getting delivered and I had to see other people getting one finally. And I was like, well, you know, I had one and then I uh, sent it away, but the car is back and better than ever. Got the new exhaust on as well to match the twin turbo kit from LMR. Everything on the car is LMR now. It's been so, it's been so freaking long. Again, like I just really missed the car, it's such a good, like the C8 Corvette is such a good car. Oh my God, it's been too long. Now it's also about 174 degrees today as it has been for the past week, but wow, I missed it. I missed the leather. It still smells new in here, believe it or not. I missed the leather, my yellow stitching, my Alcantara. Oh yeah, student driver key, we got it right here. Uh, I can't, I'm like kind of in shock right now, I really, it's like getting delivery all over again. Oh, look at that. Let's just dive right in. Let's take her for a drive right now. I'm excited to see how it drives. Uh, now again, we have a, a fully functioning twin turbo kit in the car. If you look back over your shoulder here, you can see turbos right there. I love the LMR placement. And this is a kit that you can buy, by the way. If you have a C8 Corvette, you're interested in getting it, uh, getting a twin, a twin turbo kit for it, you can get this from LMR and mine is like the first one, is the first one that's done. Pretty cool. My 717 plaque. Here we go. <laughs> Look at the camera rear view mirror. That is so freaking cool. We have no check engine lights at all. No warning lights. Like it's un unbelievable that the car is running and driving as good as it does. No check engine lights, no issues with the vehicle and uh, it can run and drive like any normal C8 Corvette and that's unreal and again you can't even tune the car yet. LMR, I mean they are truly, in my opinion, the best shop you can send a Corvette to and I would highly recommend them. Looks like we do need gas so we'll get gas here shortly but reverse, here we go. <laughs> Holy crap, oh crap, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone, <laughs> there we go. As you can see, trunk is still 100% factory functional, which is something I had to have. I wanted the original trunk, and of course, you know, if they're gonna sell a twin turbo kit, they have to retain the drivability and, and all the good parts of the car. So trunk is fully functional, front trunk is fully functional. And just to be perfect, these are mirror image turbos. <laughs> That sounds good. Good God almighty. Good God. All right, let's uh, get the POV hat out and go for a drive. Amazingly, the car drives like it's bone stock. I mean, I'm pretty much at a loss for words, to be honest because I really didn't think, you know, and even Steven from LMR was like, hey, you know, it might, 
it might not run like it did at the factory you know it might not be a hundred percent you know we can't tune it we, we did our best with what we could do but I mean my it drives like factory I wish I could really convey that through video more than I can but you can see the car just drives like normal it's like and yet you have two giant turbos right behind you in the engine bay the car doesn't even really know they're there like it's unreal uh, it even has four cylinder mode that mode still works now I wish you could press a button and turn that off but you can see the car right now is in v4 mode and it's operating fine so it, it still has the ability to shut down half of its uh, cylinders and you get better fuel economy I'm in full automatic mode right now and I'm gonna try to make this video more of like a review of the twin turbo kit because this is drive number one we have time for all the fun stuff later like the racing and driving you know flying around corners and all that stuff trust me we got we got time for that but I'm just gonna try to feel out the car right now because this is all real you know I haven't driven the car be before I just got it back so I'm filming this as I'm experiencing it myself I can't believe it's back and I can't I can't believe it drives this good I was worried you know, I'll be honest I was worried this is a this is a world first not exactly the first one well it is with the turbos on top we are the first and only to my knowledge top mounted twin turbo kit on a C8 Corvette there have been others that have functioning twin turbo kits but none on top so it's a world first and really only the second or third one period as far as running and driving twin turbo c8s go so we're truly in uncharted territory guys like this is on hyundai 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 why 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 what on earth is happening here why would it why, why would they do that um i don't know but we're truly in uncharted territory like this is all unknown you know we can't tune the car nobody knows the limit of the engine nobody knows how everything's gonna go and i'm gonna daily drive it like normal better believe i'll be driving it every day and we're gonna be racing people real soon but i don't know we could get a check engine light we could have a big failure i got my my code reader with me in case i have to clear a code or see what a code is and send it to lmr that's a risk i'm willing to take but for right now it's crazy guys like the car it's just totally it's totally normal taking off from a stop totally quiet normal shifting good unreal we are gonna fill up real quick but yeah the car's on pump gas nothing crazy you know no race fuel no e just regular old pump I can't believe it I can't I can't believe it <laughs> I can't believe it runs this good the thing about the c8 corvette is like if you're in the market for one like the build quality and everything about it is so freaking good everything is good like you look at the detail and the carbon fiber the aluminum trim all the stitching like everything's put together so well let's take a look at that twin turbo kit one more time here one thing a little bit different from the last time i think i posted a picture of it was we did get a heat blanket on the turbo which was always the plan uh, just to kind of keep the heat down but what's nice about the hatch on the c8 it is vented already it's a vented hatch and uh, they have we haven't had any issues with heat you know a lot of people said like oh you know will the hatch take it but in reality the hatch was designed to get really hot because your engine is back here and if you're tracking a car you know even without twin turbos on it if you're tracking it it's going to get really really hot so this hatch was designed with high heat in mind. Matter of fact, bone stock, if you're tracking the car, it's gonna get hotter than my car with the turbos because I'm not gonna track it. You know, I might race it a couple pulls on the highway, but it's not gonna get as hot even as you would if you had the car on the track, probably. Uh, but we could hit an issue with that as well. Don't expect one, could happen. <laughs> Sounds amazing as well. <laughs> Let's try sport and see how it goes. All the factory modes are retained. So you still have touring mode, sport mode, track mode, and you'll feel a difference in the trans and everything when you change the different modes. <laughs> the good thing about it is if this car is working well now and it's everything's good to go, 
in 96 degree weather in the Pennsylvania humidity, uh, it will work anywhere. Like it's never gonna get hotter than this. You know, nowhere that I go anyway, it, it'll never get any hotter than it is right now. It'll never get any more humid than it, than it is right now. So if the car is working now and all the heat and everything, like all the temperatures are looking a-okay, we know that going forward, especially as we get into fall, it's gonna, it's gonna be totally fine. <laughs> Woo, did you guys hear that? Oh my God. Wow. That sounds ridiculous. Exit here. Uh, cruising on the highway, everything good. Seventh gear, no problem. We gotta do at least one pull. Now I was gonna save that for another upload. Like, oh, first full acceleration, but I can't, but you guys know, I can't help myself. It's really low boost right now, but once tuning is available, then we have some options and this car is gonna fly. Oh yeah. Trans is good. Oh. And, oh, it's a little bumpy here, go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, if you get it in boost and you start in the right gear and actually like floor it, you can feel it's pretty quick. It's pretty freaking quick. We're gonna make some epic, epic content with this car. Holy crap. Uh, we got a parking lot here, big parking lot. We'll try a little launch. Go down here. Three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> hooks and goes I'm surprised that the the factory like traction management system knows how to handle it but holy crap that was fast really didn't think it was possible to make me love the C8 Corvette any more than I already did but I'm in love I am 1000% in love with this car oh my god wow wow guys well i hope you're excited about the content coming up uh we didn't even need to use this down in the footwell there i had it by the, i had it ready to go by by the obd2 port but um yeah i hope you guys are ready for some awesome c8 corvette content hopefully it's trouble free the whole way i don't expect that though really you can't you know you can't expect that everything is going to be perfect with something like this but we'll see, you know, so far, <laughs> so far she hasn't missed a beat. Hard color to pick up on camera. Beautiful, wow, we got a, a customer, very special customer, yeah. actually. Uh, blue C8 here, well, transforming into blue. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, as you guys know, that's right up my alley, we so. wild accents for it too. Pretty cool, yeah, some wild stuff. Uh, something different, man. Very, very cool, I'm sure he'll be really happy to see it. He'll be happy for sure, but that, yeah, this thing is awesome. C8 Corvette, can't go wrong. And the GT500 track pack, Dude. track pack and Twister Orange. Look at those wheels, guys. Full carbon fiber wheel. All right, now, can I put them on blast quick? Who? Ford? Okay. Ford? What do we, we got to do? I just want to know why, okay. You obviously got carbon fiber wheels. True yes. carbon fiber wheels. Yeah. Take a look inside that front wheel again and tell me what you see different now. Oh, now wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. What is this? What is that? I don't know. It's raw aluminum. That's what that is. Huh. Doesn't make any sense. Now you can edit this if you want. I don't no, know. I'll leave it in. I mean, the back looks it's good, just, right? It's just wrapped. They just wrapped over the, the wheel with carbon fiber. 
the seam is right. Oh yeah, you can see the seam in there. Yep, right here, same spot. That well, I think it's real carbon in. though, isn't it? The whole wheel is oh, carbon. Oh, it's definitely real carbon on the outside. Okay. But it's not throughout. Huh. Like your wheels, there's no like. Yeah, mine's a real carbon fiber barrel. Like it's not made of any raw material other than carbon fiber, right? No, well just the spokes. Like the part that bolts onto the carbon fiber, those are aluminum. The rest of it's are all carbon. Yeah, but are they wrapped in carbon? No, they're just black. Okay, but the, the rest actual of it's full barrel is Yeah, my actual fiber. wheel is full carbon. Like it's not wrapped in carbon fiber no. over aluminum. No, my wheel is real right. carbon. So these are not true carbon fiber wheels. I don't know. They, even if this, if this was a two piece, and this came like look you can see the seam like look it's raw aluminum right behind it yeah but is that aluminum the back i don't know or is that it, carbon or did they like well carbon fiber has to look like that though it can't look like white by the way we know the guy who owns the car like he's a friend of ours so he he doesn't care that he we're touching it like this great deal on this yeah by the way. i mean a super rare track pack gt5 guy backed out oh is that how he got uh, it uh this the uh, uh, mb leap or whatever this Oh, right over here, the yeah, Ford. LB Smith. Yeah. They, they, he custom ordered everything, and then he backed out, and they were stuck with this car. Wow. Joe picked it up. Joe picked it up. Beautiful. So, Joe, I don't know. You got to tell us about the wheels. What's going on there? Joe, what's up with this? Joe, what are you doing? I was stunned. Well, yeah, I don't know what that I, means. But you I, don't know what, I don't know what that until, is. Like, Bobby was in here. He wanted to start it up, and I was looking at something. I forget what I was looking at. I think actually the white caught my eye. I was like, wait. That, I, mean, I mean, I've never noticed that before, yeah, so that that's I, white like that. I told him to get out of the car. I was like, what do you see different about this wheel? He couldn't see it. I'm like, look at the barrel. Yeah, that's... And I was like, look at the rears. There's nothing like that showing in the rear. I wonder why it's like that in the front. Is that like some type of extra heat coating on it? Right. To protect that, it? Maybe they are carbon fiber. I don't know. Yeah, may, maybe they're carbon fiber and that's like a heat coating on top of it. I could see that. I could see that being a thing. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you it's real carbon and that's a heat coat they put on top of it. I bet you. Well, if you know, let that us know sense. in the comments, but this is a beautiful car. 2020 GT500 in twister orange track pack car. Very rare to see a track pack car with the carbon wheels and the wing, huge carbon wing. That is beautiful. Only three days left to win the high country. Everything that you see here is available on InShaneDesigns.com. Everything from like little patches down here. We have Velcro patches, all kinds of different flags. We have re uh, reflective flags. We have Canadian flags. Yes, if you are from Canada, you can win. Uh, we have the old Challenger shirts. Got a few left over from the Hellcat. Save manuals, Viper outline, street speed. Viper Generation, Save the Sticks, all the new shirts over here, the diesel shirts, Student Driver, favorite one by far, 717 logo. Uh, we have so much, guys, on the website, so much. Viper Outline, American Muscle. Also, we have posters, we have tailgate kits for trucks, we have a lot of stuff. Stickers, key tags, good selection of key tags for you. And again, everything on the website counts. InShaneDesigns.com, every five bucks spent is an entry to win the high country. Only three days left, guys. Three days left, don't miss out. Another advantage of having the turbos in the, like in the trunk area, in the engine compartment area up top, is uh, it makes it really easy to work on. If you ever have to service a turbo or, you know, do anything, it's really easy to get to, which I didn't even really think about that. Like a work of art, not only does it perform as it should but it just i mean it's beautiful to look at i mean look <laughs> just look at how beautiful it is even down to like the heat shielding that matches the carbon fiber okay well the c8 is back in the garage and i'm sorry dalton i had to do it to her had to do, i had to put her out just maybe for a night maybe we can swap out every now and then but i think the only car that is for sure not ever leaving the garage is this one the, she has done enough she deserves a spot. 
Uh, these two, they're a little young yet. Well, not that, that one's actually really old. That one should be in the garage, but um, yeah, this car is nuts. Lots more content to come. I feel like this upload is gonna be about 15, 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna cut it here. But yeah, if, if you aren't subscribed, you wanna see some epic C8 Corvette content, subscribe right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.